Hi Leo, welcome to your November 2021 He Said, She Said reading. Thanks for joining us. My name's Michelle. My name's Richard. And uh, let's take a look here. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Signs, your Oracle cards for the month. Look at this. We've got Bliss and we've got Comforted. I hope it's you, Leo. Of course, this can be reversed energy. So if you're uh, cross-watching, this could be a Leo that you're dealing with. You get to choose. We're doing a dual reading, so either side can resonate. Let's take a look and see what all this contentment is about, Leo. I've already been meditating on these cards, so let's uh, start with the past energy. Move on to the present, the near future. Advice, Leo. What's happening in the environment, hopes and fears, potential outcome, what's hidden or unexpected, and the overall energy for the month. Okay, past, present, future, advice, environment, hopes and fears, outcome, what's hidden, and the overall energy. Okay, let's see what all this bliss is about. Okay. Well, after a long period of frustration, I get frustrating delays, a lot of pressure being put on, uh, stress, exhaustion. So I get that, um, well, Leo, it's good that you have this contentment around you because I, I feel that you're exhausted. Okay, and over here we've got justice. So it, it's a, it's a feeling of after a long time somebody has has finally is finally feeling like they're getting what they deserve mm -hmm. let's take a look and see what's happened here in the past we've got the page of cups in the reverse so this feels like something um, not going to plan something not working out uh, not really following your heart as well i, I get a, a a turning away from love turning away from uh, relationships so it feels like um, in the past possibly because you just haven't had time some of you have been working really really hard on a project uh, in your business your career so you haven't really had a, a whole lot of time um, to connect with love but that may be changing here guys yeah over here we've got the two of swords yeah, I, what I get here is that, Leo, you were trying to make a decision. And in the past, it was a choice between this person and somebody else. I, th I think at this point, though, you have chosen them. Mm -hmm. There's some level of procrastination. Now, with the star in reverse, it feels like that, that thing that's like just out of reach. Okay, so you're searching for contentment. You're searching for bliss. But it seems like it's, it, it's, it's, well, it, it feels like in the past, Leo, you've thought, you know, I've been on the verge of this m multiple times, but then something happens, it gets snatched away. So I'm picking it up as more a fear, like a fear that at the last minute, oh, no, this is feeling too good. Oh, you know, something's going to happen here to, like, snatch it out of my hand. It's a fear. Yeah, we've got the Hierophant in reverse here in the in the present. So there's still there's still doubt, especially that star in reverse, as, as to how this is going to go. So I, I get this as being kind of on a knife's edge. Mm. I feel like you've made a choice here, but you have doubts about your choice, Leo. Yeah, mainly because you doubt that it's it's going to be as good as you think it could be like this can't possibly last mm. you don't trust this feeling of bliss mm. because you've been there before and it hasn't worked okay yeah ace of pentacles in reverse Ooh. is this going to be a situation here where somebody misses an opportunity uh, because of that fear uh, i feel like this reading is a warning about uh, possibly missing an opportunity uh, because you don't trust that it is good as it as it appears to be yeah we've got the three of wands here in reverse which tells me it's a story of disappointment mm. especially that ace of pentacles in reverse over here right so things are 
things are not looking so great for the future of this uh, of this choice mm. but yet we've got this energy of bliss and comfort mm. gosh let's see advice we've got the two of wands well it is about that choice Richard was talking about it's about making making the choice uh, okay well okay this is what spirit is giving me here Leo it feels like having confidence in a choice that you make and and sticking with it trusting in you in your decision making and not giving up and not uh, well, it, it feels a little bit like uh, choosing to go down a path, getting halfway down it, uh, seeing the light at the end of the, the road there, like the, the pot of gold at, at the end of the, the street. Before you reach it, you think, oh, that looks really good. That's going to that's gonna lead me to a place of, of uh, comfort, of bliss. Uh, you turn back and say, oh, well, that, you know, I'll, I'll let somebody else have that. I mean, Leo, really? That's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, we've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here as advice. Yeah, I, I get that as being prepared, this person being prepared to, to be on their own, to, to make their life their own Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. uh, because I don't think, Leo, you're going to be doing it for them in mm -hmm. the future. Right, let's see. In the environment, we've got this King of Pentacles. Okay. All right. Well, what I'm getting here is that there is a, I feel like it's this person, Richard was right there, that needs to make a choice. Um, it feels a little bit like, uh, gosh, I'm getting two different things here. On one hand, this is about someone making a life for themselves and choosing to go it alone saying i'd rather i'd rather have happiness and like feeling bliss and contentment alone uh, not going down the road of love it's a choice spirit says but it's also a choice for this person as well it, it feels a little bit like you both being in your comfort zones but alone hmm. i mean you know I, I, that's what I'm getting. Mm. Yeah, in the environment, Knight of Swords in reverse. So there's that erratic action. You know, I'll, I'd like to be with you, or I don't want to be with you. That kind of mm. that kind of thing. Yeah. Hopes and fears, but yet there's still this hope of teamwork, of coming together. But yet you both. I've got this image in my mind of you both being in your respective houses, places where you live feeling content with what you have around you which is great but yet neither one of you are it's like you both want to be with each other but neither one of you is coming out and, and saying it but you, there's an element here of disappointment that that you're not um i feel like the, the what's missing here is the communication Hopes and fears. We got the Ace of Wands here. Yeah, this person I think really wants something passionate with you, Leo. And it's, it seems like everything's just sort of stopping a little bit short. Yeah, because you're you're both in your comfort zones, and you don't. Neither one of you wants to risk that. Okay. What's hidden? We've got the Nine of Wands. Yeah, that's that uh, fear. And paranoia. Yeah, like oh gosh, if I. <sighs> yeah, it's like you've gotten yourself to a state where things are comfortable, Leo, and you don't want to risk any kind of change in that. Uh, yeah, it feels like keeping yourself safe. Yeah, we've got the Page of Swords. It's about it's about um, communication. You know, mm -hmm. truthful communication putting everything out there and, and laying it all on the line and, and, um, and making that play you know, once and for all. Mm. The outcome here is the Four of Wands, okay. So that's that comfort. Finding that place of comfort. I feel like you found it, Leo, but I do feel like you found it solo. You know, I don't see you with anyone. So you may have just uh, recently moved 
uh, purchased a home, bought, uh, well, rent, rented a new home, whatever you've done here, Leo, it seems like you've made a choice. You're on your own. You feel good about it and you're very protective of what you've built. Yeah, I get a lot of skittishness on your side, yeah. uh, Leo, about, um, about being with somebody else. Although I see that four of rods could be being with this person as long as communication mm. was... was but um, it's like you're a little bit worried yeah. that, that they're going to take it from you or mm. that there's going to be some kind of problem, like mm. you're anticipating problems. Yeah, so it's, it's like you, you're holding this person at arm's length. Mm. Yeah. 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 So the the eight of swords, you know, they, they feel trapped because they don't know what you want. But the other thing is, Leo, I don't know if you know what you want exactly. Right. It seems though that you are happy being on your own here, and maybe that's part of it. You're uh, you don't you're not sure you want to. It's like Michelle was saying, you know, you're not sure you want to engage with anybody else. This person really does seem to want to be with you, though. They feel like it's the fair thing. Mm. Because I feel like this person feels like they've put in the work. You know, they've worked, they've tried to woo you. They've done everything they possibly can, and now it's your time. Now it's your turn to pony up. But you know, I, that's not really a, a great. Mm. That's not really a great way to be looking at it for this person. Because mm. in the end, it's, it's going to be your choice, Leo. Do you really want to be with this person or not? Yeah. It doesn't. With that Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it seems the answer is no. Right. And the four of rods here is, is probably, like Michelle said, well, you, you're, you've got it on your own. Yeah, I feel that. You know, it's, it's, it's a combination of a couple of things. The first thing I'm picking up is this exhaustion. I just don't feel like you've got the energy to put into any kind of relationship. Like it, whatever you've been doing recently, working on a project, your career, whatever it is, starting a business, buying a new home, whatever it is, it's taken a lot out of you. And so you just don't have the time and energy to put into anything else. And I get you just wanting to feel comfortable with what you have built right now. So I get you staying in this kind of, you know, fours are all about staying somewhere for a while before, it's not that you're going to be here forever, but it, it's like you've found your safe spot for now. You might consider something with another person in the future, but I don't see that happening in November. I, th I feel that, I don't feel that you're pushing this person away or telling them no. I just get that things are not going to change. There's not really going to be any change between you and this person. That's kind of what I'm getting. But to be honest with you, it, it feels like, um, oh, well, we'll talk about that more in the extended, actually. Uh, let, let's get a, a card from the Oracle of Visions. Um, yeah, you know, uh, you, you both seem to be happy enough, but what, what is missing is a relationship. But I don't know, maybe maybe it's not meant to be a relationship. You know, we've got that Hierophant in reverse there, which speaks to me of doing things differently, not going down the traditional road. Okay, which is interesting. Let's take a look. Now, in the extended reading, we'll be clarifying, going much uh, further in depth. So if this is your story, please do join us there. The link is down below. Be, uh, also, Richard will be doing a Lenormand reading. I'll be doing some tea leaves as well, so please do join us. If you prefer a personal reading by me, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, or you can go to my Etsy store and purchase directly. The link is down below. Please do take a moment to press that thumbs up really is very important for the channel i'd be so appreciative if you would do that drop us a comment down below and if you're a newcomer please do subscribe leo let's see what we will be talking about more in the extended reading yeah you don't trust this <laughs> you don't trust this contentment it's like oh no no, no something's gonna mess this up um something there in your past leo that that kind of makes you not trust feeling good yeah it's the uh, the two of you seeing possibly relationships in, in a very different way one 
Yeah, that's what I see. You don't trust relationships. I get that. Uh, the other person does, but maybe shouldn't. <laughs> well, you know, they, all they want is to be comforted. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's all they want. But they don't, I don't feel like they're getting that right now from you, Leo. No, no. It's quite the opposite because you've got this eight of swords here as being the outcome. They feel shut out is what I'm mm. getting. They, they do feel shut out. I don't feel that you're meaning to, but for some reason you're, you're very protective of, of yourself from this person. Like you, you're fearing that they're going to take something from you, but I don't feel that they are. It, it is a little bit of that paranoia that Richard was talking about. So let's talk about this more in the extended. We'll be going much further in depth. So if this is your story, please do join us again. The link is down below. For those of you who are members of my Band of Gypsies channel membership, you can view them on YouTube at the extended access level, which is the highest level. If you'd like to join my Band of Gypsies, ways you can do that, click on the join button below or look in the box for the link. Thanks again, Leo. Please take care and we'll see you in part two or we'll speak to you again very soon. Thanks, Leo. Goodbye and good luck.